traditionally, boilers are made out of conductive material. And the most conductive material is either going to be copper or aluminum. So these are two examples of what's generally considered good boilers out in the market. Now the great things about these is they have the conductive property of the material so it'll get hot quickly and it can get to the right temperature. But the downside of these materials is they really react to the water. So over time, any minerals that are in your water are going to collect inside either of these materials. And that has two challenges to it. One, it really affects the taste of the coffee. As that stuff builds up inside the, the boiler, because none of us clean those things out, it really will give the taste of your water and then the taste of your coffee kind of an off taste over time. It's really the difference between having a new coffee maker and one that's been around a while. The other challenge of all that buildup is that's one of the most frequent fail points of a coffee maker. So if you can solve both of those challenges, you know, not having the water taste off and having it last a really long time and not, not failing there, you can kind of get to a whole new level. And so with a ton of work, what we were able to do is actually do aluminum on the outside for the great conductivity but the inside of our boilers is stainless steel. And that's the only one on the market. And because it's stainless steel on the inside, you don't have the problem of reacting to any of the minerals are in the, that are in the water, because that's the great property of stainless steel, right? It, it really resists all of that. And so the water will taste better, and so your coffee will taste better, and then your machine will actually last quite a long time because that, that point of the machine just will not fail.